12 inches of rain, which will mean that flash flooding will be a very large threat. There's a high risk for flash flooding across central and northern parts of the state. We'll talk all about the timing and exactly who could see these storms and when. Coming up, here's from Watch Forecast. Good morning, afternoon, evening, night time, depending on what time you're watching this video and from where you're watching this video. Hey, hey fam, welcome back to another vlog. So today is not a planned vlog, but as you could tell, and you could probably tell by the title, it is going to be a very, very scary day today. Um, Max is out of school. A bunch of schools canceled their classes today, especially the schools that don't have um, tornado shelters. And um, so he's here with me, and I'm still debating on whether to go to work or not. It's already 8 o'clock, and I should have already left the house, but the kiddos, I just woke them up. Or they're drinking their milk. So I'm still debating on whether to go or not. I mean, my job is, like, really, really flexible, and I love it there. Um, but it is almost, I want to say, about 25 to 30 minutes away from my house. So in case if there was an emergency, it's just too far to come all the way back home. Now, we do plan on probably going to my parents' house, which is like 10, 15 minutes away from my house. So not as far in case there is a tornado because they do have a tornado shelter there. They do say that most of the Oklahoma state is in very moderate to high risk for large uh long tracking tornadoes so everywhere in this pink area is in that high risk that is a five out of a scale of five so this is a very dangerous situation and we are talking about some extremely dangerous thunderstorms which you are expecting for this afternoon right now tornado risk is high for Oklahoma City, the Oklahoma City Metro, an outbreak is possible. The Storm Prediction Center is specifically warning for the possibility of several strong, uh, long track, damaging, violent tornadoes to move through central Oklahoma. No surprise, you know, it is Oklahoma. My husband did go to work, but he only works like five minutes from here, from our house. So it's like he's right next door. So they just updated our tornado risk from moderate to the highest one on the scale. This is going to be a very fun day. Oh, and on top of that, we're going to get like extremely, extremely flooding. And I live in an area out in the country where every time they say that there's a flood watch, it always floods here. So I decided not to go to work, obviously, because I'm still at home. Um, and both of my kids fell back asleep. Max was actually playing the Nintendo Switch, and I told him that we weren't going to go to work. Next thing I know, I walk in this room and they're both asleep on the bed together. So I thought it was so cute. They're so cute when they're asleep, right? So we have made it to my parents' house. Max here. Mia's here. And my parents are not here. <laughs> because they're at work. They're at work. Although, well, my mom's already out of work, but she's on her way. She just had to stop at the store to get um, just some waters and stuff. And we so happy. <laughs> we are just gonna hang out here. I guess have the news on one TV and maybe um, watch movies or something with the kiddos on the other TV so they can just you know be distracted and everything although they really have no idea what's going on Max is a little bit more aware he knows what tornadoes are and everything but he's not he's not scared right Max <laughs> But Mia has no idea. She doesn't even know what a tornado is. At the same time, it's kind of good that they don't really know. Because um, because if it's if it's sun and cool together, and then they like smash together, it starts to it starts uh, making a tornado. Yeah, it's kind of good that they don't really know, especially Mia. Like they don't really know what it really is. They've never actually seen one or seen what can. I've seen one before. No, you haven't. Not in real life. I know, but... On TV, like, you have. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, in person. They've never seen one in person, and the the tornado that happened on May 20th, six years ago, today, um, I actually drove by it, and I saw the destruction, all the houses. You just start to imagine, like, the little kids um, that possibly lived in that house, the seven kids that died in the school because of the tornado like you start thinking about all that and it is scary but to them right now mia has no clue so it's kind of good because i know that she doesn't get scared and it and i i need to be not scared for them for her so 
I'm not scared of anything except for Halloween. <laughs> except for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's, they help me out too. They help me to stay calm and to think things through. And hopefully, we just pray and hopefully God um, oh, no. keeps us safe. So, yes. Yeah. Hey guys, so I forgot my camera at my parents' house, but I ran to, my mom got home. And so I decided to just go ahead and go to Target before it gets even worse in case if it does get worse. But it's just weird because everybody is out and about like nothing's gonna happen. Like I went to Target and I picked up um, the shirt that I was wanting for Max. It's just, I forgot to show you guys anyways, but it's just a plain red shirt. And I picked up two little shirts for Mia that I thought was super cute. I can show you guys if you want. So it's this little tank. And I thought it was so cute. I'm so into this color right now. And then there's a different one. It's just a little bit different. But it's really cute too. It also has a little tie at the bottom. So yeah, I decided to go. And there's people like just shopping. Like shopping. Like full cart on. Everything in there. Shopping. And then I went. Um, it didn't look like the Starbucks and the Target was open. So I went to a different Starbucks. There's one like right next to it and there was people just sitting there. There was a, there was even somebody like I wasn't trying to eavesdrop or anything, but there was actually somebody there doing an interview. Um, and I was just like, wow, these people just really aren't, I mean, I guess they are being precautious. I mean, I'm pretty sure they know what's going on and they've heard the radio, they've heard the weather, the apps, all that kind of stuff, but it's just weird to see them like they're just like going about the day like normal. While I'm over here, like, rushing to, like, get to my parents' house, make sure my kids are here, and that if we have to run to the shelter, we're already here. We don't go anywhere. Um, so I hesitated to go to Target, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Just in case Max has school tomorrow, he will have his red shirt. Um, so, yeah, that's what we did. And then I got my Passion Tea Tango lemonade. Like always, I kind of want to switch it up. I kind of want to try the mango dragon fruit, which I haven't tried, and I've heard a lot of people say it's really, really good. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go back inside the house and I will update you guys to see what happens throughout the afternoon. <gasps> Los dos together, oh my gosh, que no se junten. Two tornadoes in the same crowd. Wow. Oh my gosh. Guys, good morning. It's the next day. I didn't finish vlogging because, um, as you can see, I'm still here. Uh, there was a quite a few tornadoes, and it was actually kind of scary. I'll insert some clips here. So as you can see, it was actually kind of scary. Um, but thankfully for us, it was more on the west, northwest side of us. Hi, Mia. <laughs> we gotta get you ready. We still gotta go to work. Our main concern now is flooding. And where we live, our area where we live, it floods like crazy. So it has been raining nonstop till about like 30 minutes ago, which right now it's, I don't have my watch. I think it's like eight o'clock. My husband actually was gonna take Max to school. As is trying to take Max to school, but he had to go like, like two, three, four miles up. I mean, it's just crazy. He had to go all the way north side instead of going south to where the school is from our house and all the way around. Um, I know this probably doesn't make sense, but. It is a pretty far distance to have to take him to school, so he is going to be late to school. But fortunately, they said that um, a lot of people are going to be late to school. He's not the only one. So the principal was probably not going to count um, tardies today. So that's that's good because Max has no tardies in school. He has no absences or anything, and I wanted him to not have them for the whole year. And but I would much rather him be safe. I would rather him have a tardy than you know something happen so I am sitting here at home I am waiting on my husband because he took the expedition which is you know if expeditions look like they're a lot 
further up from the ground than an escape is which is the one that i drive a ford escape so i was waiting on him to bring that car back because that's the car i was going to take to work but it looks like it's going to be a little while and i'm probably going to be late to work as well so i will um probably finish the vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed my tornado updates <laughs> and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video bye Oh, don't forget to subscribe, become part of the family. We are at 374, one more to 375. Let's get there. I know we can get there, um, but let's set a higher goal. What should we set? 380, maybe? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.